Yesterday, Italian giant Juventus confirmed that they have terminated midfield Aaron Ramsey's contract. They took to Twitter to announce the news and released a short 13-word statement on Ramsey's departure. During his three years at the club, Ramsey made 49 league appearances for Juve, scoring five goals and winning one Serie A title. Ray, where does where does Aaron go from Ooh. here? Well, I'm I, sure. I think he's still got a lot to give. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he's a top player. Really is a top player. Uh, good midfielder. He's brilliant at Arsenal. I was, I was really... Sad to see him leave Arsenal, if I'm being honest. I thought they might keep try and keep him. But he's, he obviously went for the big move to, to Juve, got the money, you know, got great, great, great wages. But I, where does he go now? I mean, he had that little spell at Rangers. It weren't planned on a regular basis, though, was I it? could Rangers? work it out why, because yeah. for me, he had to be on that side. But Forrest, uh, favourites, I think, I think. their favourites to get him. Cardiff, would he go back to Cardiff, huh? where he started? Would he go to America? America could be an option for a lot of players. Um, yeah. We've seen, you know, Frank go there, uh, Gerard, you know, Defoe, them sort of guys, uh, Robbie Keane. So maybe he, he might have be tempted to go to um, to to America. He was making four hundred grand a week in Turin. Lovely, Al, <sighs> lovely. Good luck to him. Amazing, isn't That's it? That's what right? it's all about. <laughs> it is amazing. But it, it, it'd be a little bit disappointing. Three seasons, forty nine appearances, not too many appearances. He, it, it, he was frozen out. And obviously, he's come to a deal now with Juve, so he, he get well paid out. But it's where he, 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 you still, as much money as you as you earn now, you still want to play football. And he, he didn't do that on a regular basis. So uh, let's let's hope he, he can get into the Premier League. I mean, Forest are the favourites, so maybe they're looking at um, Newcastle, to, maybe. Um, yeah, again, I'd love to see him stay in the Premier League, but mm. it's just you know where where his family want to settle. Um, Cardiff could be an option. Who knows? Um, but I, if I would always look at America, I would. You know, if you think you're coming to the end of your career and how long you got left, you know, it's a little bit slower pace, isn't it, America? Than Washington or down to LA or on that West Coast, lovely San Diego, that sort of area, beautiful, yeah, uh, nice place a, to live. Bring your children good, up. Correct. Got young, three young children. He's got so, yeah. you know, maybe that's an option for him. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we wish him well wherever yeah. he goes, eh? Uh, you know him quite well, really, don't you? Yeah, he's a great lad. Really, really top top guy. A couple of beers. He always used to come to the back of the... Uh, we, we went to... Where did we go? We went to Sydney uh, on pre-season. 23 hours on a plane. And I had to go... You know to... that's going to be cut back to about 14 soon. Well, I had to go and see... Oh, was it? Emirates are going to go... They can go to Perth in 14, but I think they're now going to go to Sydney and around that. Well, we well. stopped off at, uh, obviously, Dubai. And uh, Arsene Wenger at the time was manager, believe it or not. It's his last season. He, he got off the plane, but we had to stay on it. And I had to ask the lady, can we have a few beers at the back? It's a long way, isn't it? She said, right, Ray, pull the curtains. Don't go walk through there because all the first team are there and they don't want to be seen yeah. you having a drink and whatever. By, by about 10 hours into the, the flight from Dubai to um, to Australia, I had all the players at the back. <laughs> I had Aaron Ramsey in, in down there. I said, get us another beer, Ray. I went, no problem, Aaron. I saw that. <laughs> Lucky Arsene Wenger was at the front, probably asleep. So uh, I would have got p- probably in big trouble for that, Al. But uh, they was great lads, and uh, you know that's what it's all about. You're risking seven hundred and fifty. Only a couple. Year, only a right? couple. You know, well, not too many. I said that's enough now, lads. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil, Thursday and Friday morning, six till ten on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.